only exhibit of its kind in the entire world is now here in San Diego. You'll be able to view King Tut's tomb as if you were the archaeologist who first discovered it. The wealthiest find in the world, a gold-filled tomb adorned with riches belonging to King Tutankhamen in the first of four rooms. It's just filled with goods. These white bundles are packages of food. And chariots, animal statues, even statues of servants, valuables they hope would serve King Tut in his afterlife. These 1,000 recreated pieces were made by Egyptian craftsmen for the world tour, while the originals remain in Egypt. It gives us a glimpse into the real splendor and wealth of ancient Egypt. As mentioned in this Biography Channel video, King Tut was born in 1341 B.C. and ruled the Egyptian dynasty at nine years old. Try to imagine a fourth grader as mayor of your town. After 10 years, he died at 19. Cause of death unknown, but scientists believe he had malaria and broken bones. It wasn't until three and a half millennia later, in 1922, Howard Carter made the world's most glorious discovery in the Valley of Kings. They thought the heart was the heart and soul and brains of the body. In fact, they mummified his heart and each organ, preserving them in individual tombs. Interestingly, though, they thought the brain was just filled with a fatty material, and they took the brain out and, and they disposed of the brain. His two stillborn children were buried there as well, but we can't forget his resting place. Four shrines, one inside the next, leading to the most magnificent of them all. 242 pounds of pure gold that housed the king himself. What an afterlife that was. Mm. And you can view King Tut's tomb October 11th on through April 26th at the San Diego Natural History Museum. And almost all afterlife. He was so young.